Let's talk about um, one of the most powerful tools that you can use within your uh, chatbot flow, and that is um, split testing. And what it means is that you, uh, for example, you've got an offer which is uh, it's doing okay, but you've got some ideas about how you would like to change it and perhaps uh, put a different offering, a different a different uh, way of, of working the flow. And you can go in and amend uh, something. So I've put together a very, very basic example. There's not really much content in this, but just to, just to show you. So say, for example, we have at the moment, um, let's go on to this one for you. Now you can see on here we have uh, the starting step is here. So this is, is message A and it's going into, uh, you know, it's sort of saying, do you want to know about whatever it is I'm offering? Um, message two, and then it's putting them straight onto an offer there. So pretty straightforward. But I'm thinking, well, could it work better? And you, it's really worth uh, split testing all the time because um, you can always improve things. But by doing this, we're not having to start all over, all over again. And we can re really sort of put a few options together. And over the, the course of a few days or a week or whatever, see what's working best and take away the options which aren't working. So it's really good practice to do this, just like you do with um, Facebook ads, you know, you test creatives or um, test uh, different objectives. So exactly the same thing. So let's uh, let's put a couple of, let's show you how to actually put a split test into a flow. And I'm gonna put one at the beginning and I'm gonna put one at the end. And there's a very slight, it's the same process, very slight difference in what you need to do. So on this flow here, um, as I say, at the moment, it goes from this step to this step, to this step and all we're going to do is uh, and there's a few ways you can do this you can click on this button at the top here but simple option is just to double click on the screen and you'll see there a b split and this will open up now it will automatically come up with an a and b split i've got four options there so all i need to do is click on new variation a new variation so now i've got um four options uh, obviously it needs to add up to 100%. So I'm going to change all of these to 25 each. You can you can put this to whatever whatever you like. If you want more going to one particular option, that is fine. So we've got 25% on each of those. Yep. And then from there, we could just go 25% to this one, to this one, to this one and to this one. Now, at the moment, if I just made that live and published it, what would happen is everyone would still go to this. And that's because your starting step is still this first message. What we would do is move the starting step to here. So now automatically, when people enter this flow, they will hit this split test and be split equally as I've set it to the four different options there. Um, what you will find is that when, when you look at this, if you look at the start of a flow, so if, if we go, um, if you looked at your flows menu, it has uh, some breakdowns of how, you know, how many people have clicked it, how many impressions it's made, this, this sort of thing, how many people have clicked through. By having this at the front, you will not see that, but you will still get details about who's clicked on each message and how many people have clicked through on these first starting messages. So that's where you'll see that information. So that's what you need to do at the start. And the difference is that we need to drag the starting step to that split test. Now, again, and this, this is really quite a, quite a useful one at the, at the end. So say you've got four different offers. It could be things like, oh, I'm going to do 10% off, or I want to do a voucher, or I want to do a free consultation, or whatever it happens to be. We can, instead of going from this straight to there, exactly the same thing. So we'll just delete that step, and we'll create uh, that split test again exactly the same thing so we'll do new variation new variation put it all to 25 percent each yep and then just drag those to that place there and what we've done is very very simply without having to change any of your growth tools or anything that's sending people to this flow is split test four different starting steps and four different offers at the end of it. Really simple, really powerful, and that's how you create a split test within uh, ManyChat. So give it a go.